I'm the last speaker from the schools. It's also from Cobra College Victoria. Jeanette Mayer will be speaking to the Sustainable Development Goal of Gender Equality. Gender Equality, Jeanette Mayer. It is estimated that 60% of chronically hungry people are women and children. Ladies and gentlemen, 60% women and girls. One to three girls globally are subjected to female genital mutilation. In Sub-Saharan Africa, women collectively spend about 40 billion hours a year collecting water. And if this is not enough, in 18 countries, husbands can legally prevent their wives from working. Clearly, gender equality is not a myth, but a reality that must be addressed. Inequality against women has been embedded in our society, not only through our culture, but is evident in our history. Fundamental rights enshrined by the United Nations almost 70 years ago, which include the right to live free from violence, discrimination, to be educated, to vote, and to earn a fair and free wage has been figuratively thrown out the window. We believe as global citizens, we as global citizens are on a search to enforce these rights because we believe that empowering women has long-term positive implications for family well-being and poverty reduction. In South Africa, until the ninth section of the Bill of Rights is introduced, women were controlled by their fathers or spouses. Their right to education and economic empowerment, taken as a cool joke. Although we are making strides in gender equality and now ranked in the top 20 countries globally for equality, we still have a long way to go to fully address women's rights. A feminist approach is fundamentally new. It is not simply about improving upon what has been done, it is about being involved in our ambition to move the needle forward. It is about rethinking how we work and who we work with. It is about walking the talk and ensuring our financial commitments at our level of ambition. Countries such as Iceland, Norway, and Canada have paved the way for gender equality in the small policy. In fact, Canada believes that the best way to reduce poverty, both peace and address humanitarian crises lies in their feminist policy. In Canada itself, they have given specific focus to empowerment of women as they believe they have untapped economic power in fostering their gender equality. The question is, are we willing to do anything about women's rights? Remember, if we don't, who will? <laughs> 